Decision 2018 coverage tops this edition of News 9 at 6 as the May primary election is quickly approaching. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Davison. And I'm Rich Pierce. One of the races we're closely following is the race for Belmont County Commissioner. In our last half hour, we spoke with the two Republican candidates. Now News 9's Brittany Grego is live to introduce us to the Democrats. Good evening, Rich and Kate. Four Democratic candidates are vying for the commissioner seat, including incumbent Mark Thomas and Mark Mike Bianconi, sorry, Angela Hatfield and Chuck Probst. We talked with each of them to learn their plans if elected. First up, incumbent Mark Thomas, who is in his 13th year as county commissioner. He says they renovated the courthouse and constructed the senior services building. To him, infrastructure is top priority, and he wants to continue what he helped start. Uh, we're in the midst of a $50 million water and sewer upgrade uh, to the entire county system. Uh, we're in the midst of getting broadband internet to our residents and businesses in rural areas of the county. Uh, we're still working hard on retail growth in Belmont County. We're going to hopefully have some really nice announcements come in 2018. Next up, Mike Bianconi, who previously served as county commissioner for eight years. He's now a Peace Township trustee, and he believes the budget needs a closer look. We need to do a little bit better uh, on spending our money on your tax dollars. I've always said, other than your, your family, your friends, you know, your blood, the second most important thing is your tax dollar and how we spend it sometimes gets lost. It's, uh, we think it's important and it isn't important and, and fancy things or just uh, things that cost a little bit more than we should be spending on things. Now the next candidate, Chuck Probst, who served as county commissioner for 14 years. He says he got the county through the 2008 recession. Now his focus is on fighting the opioid crisis and public safety. Provide uh, some resources and funding uh, to our local uh, police departments and sheriff's departments to make sure that, you know, this coordinated effort can, can happen and, and, you know, hopefully help, help with the situation that's going on. Okay. Uh, another thing, um, you know, is, is our public safety services need, um, they need help also. The final candidate is Angela Hatfield, who serves as the director of the County Humane Society. She previously served as director of the animal shelter, saving countless animals. Her focus is on protecting seniors and children. We need to be more innovative about getting monies through grants to service our senior citizens who next year Meals on Wheels this year is going to be cut. Uh, our school children, the lunches and the after school programs have been cut. So we need to partner with all of those different organizations to make sure that we offer uh, the people that we have to write grants to be able to service their seniors. Now, if you missed the interviews with each of the Republican candidates, we will have those interviews with this story on our website, WTOV9.com. And once again, the primary election is on Tuesday, May 8th. But for now, we are live in Belmont County. Brittany Grego, News 9 at 6.